Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, today I thought I'd take you out and about a little bit and show you what it's like living in a little fishing town here in southern Italy, in Puglia specifically. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the via here and I want to show you, we've got everything we need here. What I love is we've got the best focaccia bakery right here. Here's where they make the focaccia and all of the rolls and everything else. And then there it is. I'm going to go in. Here's just a few of the things they have to offer, but again, the focaccia is very famous here in Puglia. And there it is, one of the best focaccia places in all of Mola di Bari. And the piazza is down that way. Hey, we're coming up on all the shops, some of my favorite clothing stores here. Um, really nice, independent shops, and they all have beautiful things in them. As you can see, I bought a dress in one of these shops the other day, very sparkly and shiny. You're gonna see it soon. Okay, down there you've got some shops too, the Vodafone, and you've got some clothing shops and things like that. We're getting closer to the piazza here. This is the church on your left-hand side. Oh, this is my favorite shop. It's closed today, but look at these outfits. Ooh, I bought a beautiful dress and some earrings there. Can't wait to shop again. Okay, it looks like they're gearing up for some kind of event here because there's all these uh, flyers up, and then I see the guys across the way selling balloons and whatnot. I think something's gonna happen this evening. We just elected our mayor. He got reelected, which we're very happy about. And there's a uh, stage set up there. I wonder if that has something to do with it. In any case, uh, it's a beautiful day here. The uh, cafes are starting to put out their, their tables and whatnot. The church is lit up. I am gonna go over to that tabacaria there. That's my Amazon hub spot, pick up a couple packages. Uh, bear in mind that you have to have a code. So you have to put in the right hub spot in the correct way to get a code for retrieval of your packages and they hold it for you and it doesn't cost you anything to retrieve them. And then I'm gonna to go to the pharmacy and get some sunscreen. Okay, got my packages and I'm gonna head up in this direction to go to the pharmacy. I'm gonna get some sunscreen. It's warm already and it's such a beautiful day. And I have to put in a plug for our Lamborghini air conditioning unit. It works great. Okay, well the pharmacy was closed. I think it opens in about 15 minutes, but up here, there's a little shop where you can get all the stuff that you need for your house, all the cleaning supplies, even nail polish, which I'm gonna go see because I wanna do my toes. And then up further, I'm gonna show you some of the vegetable stands and fruit stands. Ooh, look at these nectarines. I'm gonna get nectarines and cherries today because I'm feeling the urge for fruit. And I wanna make a pasta salad, so I'm gonna get some cucumber and celery. All over town, you have these little cafes you walk through and you can smell coffee and cornetti just about everywhere. That is a place over here where you get uh, salami and cheese, and there's all kinds of macelleria. That's a macelleria that sells horse meat, which I'm not really into, um, but it's a gorgeous day here, and everything is right within a few steps of you. Whenever there's any kind of event, these little stands pop up with balloons and things for kids. It's really cute and fun. Yeah, something's going on. Something about the decathlon. Not sure what that's about, but it looks like a big deal. They got the big inflatable arch, so that means something. And of course, this beautiful piazza on a gorgeous summer day. Over here, behind the trees, is Cafe Moderno. It's the best gelato anywhere around here, and those beautiful cakes. And then this street here is where you get a whole bunch of uh, really nice clothing shops and shoe, store, shoe shops and things like that. Really a lot. Down this street here is the Wind Tree, and then there's another cafe there. Uh, on the other side of this street here is the sea. And you remember I was showing that property, that really cool one. Um, relatively inexpensive, needs love, but man, what a great location. It's right down that street. Rumor has it that this arch was built by somebody who had uh, bought up a bunch of stuff and was a little stingy. So he built the arch as sort of a, I don't know, conciliatory gesture. It's a nice arch, but um, kind of leads nowhere. So I'm not sure what the purpose of that is, other than architecture is very good. Now, if you go down this street here, we've got the piazza right here, just so you got your bearings. Uh, you'll go to the sea, and all along the sea in the Lungomare, there's tons of great restaurants and cafes and uh, coffee bars and things like that. Al Bel Paese, where we were the other day, is down there, and it was fabulous. Yeah, that was loud. They also have motorcycle gangs here, but they look pretty, um, pretty friendly. Oh, these are those little raspberry things. Those are quite good. 
But yeah, you've got a whole bucket of snails here if you want to eat those. I just love this street. I love all the little plants on the side. I love the, how it twists and turns and goes down and all the little shops. And um, the sea is just beyond there. And of course, it's absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna go show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you the Lungo Mare and where all the fish markets are. This house here with the blue shutters is for sale. And I believe it's all done up inside. I'm not sure what the price is. Um, I think I saw it on the Idealista site. However, if you're interested and you want me to make an appointment and go see it for you, I will do so. It's gorgeous. I'm sure there's a terrace up there with fabulous views. It's very close to the sea, very close to the piazza and all of the shops. Okay, we've just come out the other side of that little view we were on and you can see there's one restaurant over here and there's tons of them all up and down that go all really ring around the city and it's just really cool. Over there is the harbor and across from that is the fish market. Now you can buy fish, whole fish. I don't know if they clean it for you. I haven't had the guts to go in and try to figure out how to say that. Um, but you can go to the local fish markets who clean and fillet them for you and you can buy them there too if you don't want to have to do all of that yourself. So, um, gosh, you really have everything here. I'm going to go get a nice view of the sea for you. Here's the harbor. Look how beautiful it is. We've got some pretty big boats over there. And all the fishing boats come up here in the morning and you can see them with their nets and whatnot. And then right across the way, that white building over here is the fish market. So you basically get it fresh out of the sea every morning and so do the restaurants. So if you're a seafood lover, this is a great place to come and have as much seafood as you want. I understand mussel season is coming in, so I'm going to have their, one of the special dishes, which is rice potatoes and mussels, which is one of my favorite dishes here. So anyway, uh, here we are. It's just a gorgeous day today, you guys. Oh, okay, I'm coming back down the same little um, via and there's this gorgeous church here. I haven't had a chance to go inside yet, but it's absolutely stunning. And I hear all kinds of sort of patriotic music coming from the piazza. I wonder what's going okay, on. Okay, there's our beautiful piazza. We're going to go up this street here and that's where the Osteria is. That's one of my favorite restaurants. And I noticed there's a pasticceria that's opening and all of the shops and restaurants that were shut for the winter are now open. And it's just beautiful being out and about with everybody. I just met a lady on the other side. She has a fish restaurant and a fish market. And I'm gonna go there for lunch this weekend and I'll let you know how it is. Okay, here's the street with the Osteria. There's another pharmacy. There's pharmacies all over the area. And of course, the Osteria is my favorite restaurant. And then there's Didi's Cafe, just on the corner. And the Cento Storico. So I'm gonna head back home. You know, when I first got here, I was lost in all these little white vias because there's so many of them. But after you kind of get an idea of the layout, it's kind of been a wheel spoke, like a half wheel spoke, and everything's sort of pie shaped. Once you get the idea of the pie shape, you really know exactly where you are. Okay, and there's the town over there. And out the other side of the town is this beautiful, beautiful Lungo Mare. Look at how sparkly the sea is today. It just, it's so stunning. This is the Adriatic, and it's just impossibly blue. Sometimes you can see little sailboats out there. I think there's a cruise ship out there too. Uh, Bari is a cruise port. Now, one of the great things about Mola de Bari and Bari is Bari has an international airport. It's also a cruise port. So if you had a house that you wanted to rent to people who come in to board a cruise or get off a cruise, uh, you might have some extra opportunities there. Plus Mola, I think Mola is really coming into its own because the property values here are great compared to the surrounding area. Uh, just lovely today, beautiful day. So come visit me here, guys. Come check it out. If you're looking for properties, great. If you just want to come and sit in the piazza and have a coffee, I would love that. See you soon.